Hello friends, family, and followers. It's Hike360 here, and I am here to bring you a new 360 view at Danada Forest Preserves in DuPage. We've got a five mile hike ahead of us, uh, cut up into two sections, two loops. We're doing the shorter of the two loops right this moment. But this, uh, this week is special because today is my birthday. We are Ooh. celebrating my birthday. I uh, turned 25 this morning, so that's uh, very special, very special indeed. I'm here with my brother, my mom. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Woo <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, we're here. Uh, we're gonna get this great hike in, and we brought our snowshoes. Uh, I guess this part of the path probably would have been good for that, but. We did not bring them uh, because I did not think that there was going to be enough snow to actually utilize them. Either way, here we are doing the shorter of two loops at this location. Uh, I'll give you another video later on. Peace. So this is where the regional trail that goes past Rice Lake uh, continues that way. and. I'm going to stick with what the book says, so we're going to turn back because we still have to go under Naperville Road and across the street and do another three and a half miles on the other side of the road. But if you are interested in going to Rice Lake, there's a really good trail marker uh, map right here. And uh, you can continue your hike up to, to Rice Lake and turn around if, if that's what, what you're interested in doing. It looks pretty cool. I can see we're definitely elevated over here. You can see the highway and it's a cool little spot. So we're gonna continue uh continue our hike and head back to Naperville Road. Okay, so here is the tunnel to get you under Naperville Road. There was a trail marker and it's did point to this direction, so this is what you're looking for. It's before the Danada house, away from the equestrian center. Here's another trail marker for the regional trail. It's a really well marked trail to be honest. All right. Uh, coming up next is the horse race track or exercise track or something like that. So I'll pull up. Uh, Pull the camera out again when I pass it. Okay, so a really cool piece of history here. Uh, the Danada Farms, before it was Danada Forest Preserve, uh, Daniel Rice and his wife Ada would train horses here. So uh, in 1965, they actually had a first place Kentucky Derby winner. And then uh, they also had some uh, a second place, sixth and seventh place in some other years around that. But yeah, 1965, uh, the horse was named Lucky Debonair. Came first place in the Kentucky Derby. And this is the gate, I think the original gate, that the horses would uh, start and take off from. And then this is their training course. It goes all the way down and around in a circle. So. You know, these guys really, they really did it. They, re they really had a first place Kentucky Derby winner. And it looks like they had horses racing for three decades on the Rice's farm. Good for them. Okay, so we are at a fork in the trail. 
uh, to the right of us is the Blue Bird Trail. And that is where we're gonna go. We're gonna follow the Blue Bird Trail and it's gonna loop back around to where we are now. And then we're gonna backtrack and, and uh, head on back to the car. So what's pretty cool about this trail though is that it keeps going uh, like all the way to like Herrick Lake, something like that. And so this this uh, this hike could could turn into a 10, 11 mile hike if we wanted it to. We're not going to because the map that we're following says to uh, make this the the last part of of the hike to do this loop and then head back, but. You know, if we wanted to, we could keep going for a couple more miles and make it an extra long hike. So, Bluebird Trail. All right, so we uh, just finished our hike at Danada Woods and next to, we're next to Danada Equestrian, Equestrian Center. Uh, the horses were cool to see, the horse tracks were cool to see. It ended up being 5.6 miles. And uh, it was really fun to, to get to do this on my birthday and, and with my mom and my brother. And so now we're gonna stick with tradition and go, go get some Mexican food somewhere in Wheaton. But uh, yeah, it was a really good hike. Glad we did it. It's a good amount of people out here. I saw some people snowshoeing. I saw some people using the uh, fat tire bikes. So definitely a lot of winter activity uh, going on and to be done. So definitely next time I hike, I, I, I really gotta use these, these snowshoes. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that. All right, well, I'll catch you guys again soon. And thanks for tuning in to this week's Hike360 videos. Peace.